Hello and welcome to the People's Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of December 13th, 2020. Well, today um, we actually have uh, Trump talking stimulus on Fox News this morning. He was basically boasting like he usually does of how he wants bigger stimulus checks to go out than both what is currently on the table, which is $600. So what, he wants to send us out $601? That's his hopes. <laughs> I'm just guess on that one. But the problem with this is, is even though Trump wants, excuse me, bigger stimulus checks, will he get them? Because as you know, Trump's going to be out of office on January 20th, and Mitch McConnell is still going to be in the Senate. And currently, since he is a leader of the Senate, um, it is what Mitch McConnell wants, not what Trump wants. But I also have a clip of uh, basically... Donald Trump talking about how he wants bigger stimulus checks than the Democrats and the Republicans do. So if you stick with me, I'll be right back. Thank you. What about an aid package for the, pe the yes, American it's people? Moving along. What could you do to get the $900 billion out? Of well, I want to do it. I'm McConnell. pushing it very hard. And to be honest with you, if the Democrats really wanted to do the deal, they do the deal. They should do it right now. I want to see checks going for more money than they're talking about going to people. And as you noticed um, from most of my uh, headlines I put up there in my corner, um, that the Supreme Court has rejected Texas's thing to uh, basically overthrow the elections. And Trump is basically still being, you know, himself. He's still crying about it. And we figured that since this was happening, that he probably would not be willing to do anything about stimulus. But as you saw from the video, he did say he wants bigger checks and he is willing, ready and willing to sign a stimulus package if one becomes available via the Democrats and the Republicans' combined thoughts. Now, I'm, I'm not sure how well that's going to happen or when that's going to happen, but hopefully it happens pretty soon because Friday is right around the corner and all they seemed to agree upon doing was extending the government funding bill uh, for another week. So they could talk about stimulus negotiations. And as we know, it is Sunday. And we also know that the Congress is not working on the weekends, even though they said they're planning to. But we'll see what happens. I mean, let's see if, if McConnell actually gets what he wants and gets this, the 900 and I think he wants a $908 billion one. No, McConnell wants a $916 billion one because it has stimulus checks in it, but no unemployment. Whereas Pelosi wants $908 billion one that has unemployment but no stimulus checks i mean i mean isn't that just weird she wants one that gives help to some but doesn't give help to all and mccall wants one that gives help to all and leaves unemployment out so we only get 600 bucks and that's supposed to last us for four months i don't know about you but how can 600 dollars afford to pay your rent pay your utilities pay your bills and put food on your tables for your families for four months I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I, I actually had a, a viewer on here that actually made some very common sense that we should, they should give us a $2,400 stimulus check. I mean, $2,400 bucks right now would help out a lot, a lot of people. I can guarantee you that. And, get, I mean, and they're still squabbling over state and local funding because Nancy Pelosi says that she wants the... Um, vaccine the vaccine is part of the state and local funding well if you if you actually look at the uh, 908 billion dollar one that she, she's looking at the vaccine development and distribution is set aside and separate from um state and local funding i mean yes we need to do need a state and local funding to keep this the the state and local workers employed and paid and stuff like that that makes sense but she, but state and local and vaccine are two separate topics. And in a 908 billion dollar one, as well as a 916 billion dollar one, there are two separate topics in both bills. But that, that's not, that's a story for another time. And the funny thing is, is besides McConnell wanting to actually table state and local funding and liability protection until a stimulus package for next year. We find out that uh, Republican Senator Mitt Romney from Utah wants to do the exact same thing as McConnell does, 
So because these two Republicans want to get a stimulus package passed, they're both going for the $916 billion stimulus package, which provides a $600 stimulus check. And as I've said before, Nancy Pelosi is going for the cheaper version, the $908 billion, which only provides unemployment for $300 for a week until the end of April, starting in January. And uh, that only helps out probably not even all the unemployed people out there. So we need to get our Congress people on track so they can actually do their job properly. So they can actually get the funding and everything required for the stimulus package to be taken care of. So McConnell doesn't bitch and neither does Pelosi. So we can all get the help we need. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Have an excellent evening. And to me always remember that this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package update. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And until I broadcast again, please stay safe. And remember, we're all in this together. Thank you. Bye. <music>